I learned it. I was forced to learn, but I was interested and I was uh, eager to learn this as well. And uh, I I'm going to begin with Timurit's uh, with Timurit's and Amir Timur's approach. And uh, I think that it's very interesting for me because I read his book. It was really appealing and attention grabbing. I like it and I admire him uh, because. I think that he's my idol person, uh, due to several reasons. Uh, some, some may hold the opinion that he's one person, and others may have another opinion that he somehow um, he was thinking about his uh, only his words. And uh, but my view is a common sense one, uh, which is I think uh, I think that all of you think uh, similar with me because he is uh, somehow the uh, the best person that. Uh, have uh, that lived in this country because uh, when he was born. But is he originally Uzbek? Yes. Uh, you know, at that time. Are you sure? Those times, those times, there wasn't any nationality called Uzbek. Uh, he was born in thirty uh, in thirteen thirty eight, and okay. but our nationality formed uh, after uh, two thousand uh, two sorry two hundred years. That's why we don't know exactly, but he was living there, and I uh, can talk precisely about him, that he was uh, Uzbek, but not for 100%. Uh, some say that uh, he is, uh, for some percent, he is uh, from Mongolistan. Mongolia. But, yes, from Mongolia. Mm. Uh, but, uh, but he is mostly Uzbek, mm. I think. Yes, I suppose so. And uh, when he was 10 years old, he learned Quran fully, Mm. when he was 10 years old, because uh, he had uh, he was a really intelligent person. And then, uh, when he was 12 years old, then, then he just began to be interested in uh, somehow physical activities. For example, uh, riding a horse or uh, fighting, and then he just uh, began to uh, somehow highlight himself. Uh, highlight himself among, among his peers. And after, uh, when he was 18 years old, he just uh, was the, there was a hacking. And his name was uh, Babur Hakim. That he was, his name was Babur, and uh, he just uh, somehow Babur knew that uh, he was really intelligent. He knew everything, and uh, somehow he made him his uh, somehow his right hand. We we, mm. uh, we have this kind of expression, right hand, and he he was this kind of person. Then uh, when he came, others just didn't expect, and they said, uh, "You are a child." Then he just, uh, he cut his head. This person who just said, you are, really, you are really young. And then others, uh, obviously, others began to, afraid, to be afraid of him. That's why many people uh, just can't say that he's, he was really violent, he was this kind of person, this kind of person. But I am just uh, opposite and I'm an advocate of another type, side in which he was really a good person. He was uh, not, I cannot say that he was a good person, because uh, he was somehow violent, but he was forced to do this. Uh, imagine, but imagine that he didn't do, he didn't cut his head, uh, his uh, head, and others will rebel against him. Uh, they, they will be, they uh, would be a rebellion uh, if he didn't take this kind of uh, course, uh, way, this kind of way. And after this, uh, uh, gradually, he began. Uh, he began to be uh, like a king. Uh, after several years, uh, the, of course, there were many problems. Uh, when he just began to build his own uh, empire, empire, he had many wives. And but, uh, for example, we know Ottoman Empire. We know that that so populous. We were interested in it. But they were living in their palace 